Hi, Gander Bonders. Welcome to week 94. Uh, and this week's question is, next Saturday, November 20th, is Transgender Day of Remembrance. Are you going to attend any Transgender Day of Remembering Solemnities? Do you know anyone who was harmed or killed for being transgender? Are there any Day of Remembrance ceremonies in your community? This is Steffi, and this is kind of a follow-on from last week in terms of uh, hatred and things like that. Um, the purpose of the Transgender Day of Remembrance is to remember those transgenders who not only were hated, but were hated enough to be killed just for being transgender. And it's just so sad. So am I going to attend any services? Yes, um, I, I'll talk a little bit about our local service that our uh, North County LGBT Coalition. I'm, I'm a member of that. And I'm one of the speakers. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, some of the folks, in addition to that, some of the folks from my church are going to get together for a prayer service for those who have been killed, for those who have been hated or abused for being transgender. I thought that was a nice touch. Do I know anyone harmed or killed for being a transgender? Transgender, Killed, not directly, but I had heard about some of the ones from the United States. Uh, there's ten since the last day of remembrance in the United States that I could find reference to. Two of those were in Houston. My sister lives in Houston, and she was aware of at least one one of those. She didn't know the lady personally, uh, but she was aware of at least one of those and made me aware of that, as a matter of fact, at the time. The sickest, this is just awful, but I do have to report it, the sickest killing for this year when I was composing the list. I did a little program for our, our little ceremony. I'll get to that in a minute. But um, the sickest one was killing a 16-month-old child. The perpetrator of that event told the police that he was trying to prevent the boy from acting like a girl and he killed him or her. How sick. Harmed. Do I know anyone who's been harmed? I know several um, that were beaten up in the um, greater metropolitan area. Do I know them personally? No, but I knew of the events in the greater metropolitan area, San Diego, Los Angeles, and the environs. Um, and I had heard of several that were beaten up. Um, one of the folks who I converse with on YouTube was actually beaten up, so I don't do know somebody who was beaten up. Um, that's sick. Uh, I just count my blessings that I have been so well received. And I wish everyone were received as well. But the sad truth is, there are a lot of people that have troubles. Are there any ceremonies in your community? Uh, yes, there's two. The major community in the San Diego, great, greater San Diego um, area, the major uh, LGBT center is in a community called Hillcrest. And there's a Hillcrest LGBT center. It's downtown San Diego. And they're going to have a ceremony. Likewise, up in North County, our local 
group uh, in the Carlsbad, Oceanside, uh, Vista, Escondido, you know, up here in North County, San Diego. Uh, we have a North County LGBT coalition that I'm a member of. And we are going to, in Oceanside, have a little candlelight ceremony starting at 6 o'clock. And that's what this is a, I don't know whether I can show that very well, Day of Remembrance. This is the um, uh, program for it. Uh, I did the program for it. There's what's going to be happening. Here is a list of the folks who have been killed this year. It's just plain terrible. Um, so we're going to have a little candlelight ceremonies. We're going to distribute the candles, and then we're going to have uh, folks. Um, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five of us that are going to speak about our particular little journeys and so forth. Uh, not very long, just a few minutes. Uh, and then the ceremony itself will, will happen. Uh, we're going to take turns reading the names of those who have been killed. Then we're going to light a candle and ring a bell. And after that ceremony is completed, it should be very formal and it should really be, be very touching. And it's getting to me just talking about it. So sorry about the voice. Um, anyway, after that ceremony, then we're going to have a appropriate musical selection played by a local artist, a very good artist. Uh, Charla Shore is going to perform. Uh, then we're going to have a reception. At the reception, and that's our little logo for our little North County uh, Coalition, um, at the reception, we'll have light refreshments, and we're going to make an announcement. We're going to announce the formation of actually a um, Gender Journeys, a new transgender center that we're starting in North County, uh, San Diego. And I am really proud to be part of that uh, group and able to contribute however I can to support and help that um, um, operation. So that's um, that's our little local ceremony, and that's what's going to happen. Um, some of the um, I don't know whether you folks have noticed, but uh, virtually in every one of these gender blender things, there's a theme uh, from an LP. <laughs> And this one happens to be a remembered love, which is appropriate for the occasion, uh, for Day of Remembrance. So it's a solemn ceremony, and I encourage you folks to take some time out and at least think about those less fortunate folk among us who have been killed just because they were a little bit different just because they were transgender and just because some bigot didn't like their viewpoint. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, this is Steffi saying thank you so much for watching. Remember our fallen on November 20th. Take a little bit of time out. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.